watch High School of the Dead? No. I remember I, I my 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 good friend in middle school who uh basically I had a big falling out with him at the end of high school, but long story short, my friend who was a tall, lanky dude who I've, I've told this story before, basically long story short, if you're, uh, you should never have a friend who is like basically more attractive than you in every way. Never hang out with somebody like that. That's just, that's never good. This is a recipe for failure, but I don't know. We were both edge Lord semi autists and I don't know. He, he definitely, showed me how dangerous ADHD medication is because he just became like a fucking psychopath whenever he took his meds. Uh, but, uh, it's because you might turn gay. Uh, I don't know if ADHD meds turn you gay, but, oh, you meant don't hang out with someone who's more attractive than you. I mean, feel free. Girls already found this out. Women have found this out for thousands of years that the attractive woman hangs around all the ugly ones so that she looks that much better in comparison. It, it turns out the same can apply to men as well. So either way, the point is, despite us both being like the edgy outcasts, you know, he would get the female attention, whereas many women did not like me. There's some girl in art class who was absolutely smitten with him. I remember this. And he thought she was like a crazy bitch because she was. She was just a cunt straight up. He just, and asshole to me for no reason. Because, you know, women, that's how they treat people that they think are ugly. You know, she just, she, she confused, much like a lot of women do, she confused being an asshole with being funny. Those certainly are not the same. Though, I don't know, in this day and age, being an asshole can be funny on its own, but typically only if you're a man. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I did resent him on some level, which is why, you know, at some point I'm like, I don't know. It's, I'm sure it was really gay. I wrote like some really long gay text where I'm just like, you know, you're a toxic asshole and I just don't want to fucking, you know, hang out with you anymore. Cause you know, I, I can't remember if I actually named his medicine or not. I might've brought up his ADHD meds or it's like, when you take your meds, you're just a, like a dickhead. And it's like, I, I don't know. It's just not worth it to be your friend or something. Please tell me you told her your friend isn't into her. I don't think I did. No. I was a nice, I was a semi nice guy for a while, for a long time. I was just very shy. But again, you know, eventually you have enough negative social experiences that you just, you turn into me. Getting rid of the goatee should help. And there's way too many gay dudes in chat. One of these days, I should just do a poll. How many of you are gay? And I, I will have the scope of gay as broad as humanly possible. Because I, I swear, like, all you guys who want to get are like, you should do this, you should do this to make yourself look more attractive. It's like, th that ship has long sailed. Long sailed. You're, you're telling a guy who's basically a fucking shut-in. And people have already, you know, made fun of my appearance plenty of times online. Not that it bothers me, because I've seen the people who who tell me that. And they, they most of them are, happen to be uglier than me, you know. They could, could be a coincidence. Could be a coincidence. But, but yeah, again, it never fall for this scam that, like, ugly people are nice on the inside. No, a lot of cases, ugly people have a shit ton of negative experiences, and so they became jaded assholes of their own variety, but then they'll punch to their own fellow sufferers because they want to be accepted by the normies, right? It's kind of like how Redditors will call people incels when they, by definition, are incels, 
because they just want to be with the in group and they have to redefine what incel is so that they're not you know a loser virgin which is basically the whole point of it like Nipsa, thanks two books we have relationships with women and sex with men <laughs> yeah there you go that is shit that is shit anyway uh but the whole the looks thing i don't fucking care about that the, i was just telling we wanted doomer hour well well i was you know sort of half-assing a story there but i don't know like you know I sometimes I do think about the friends I used to have and it's just kind of sad that I feel like friendships I've never had a friendship end amicably and obviously I think you could come to the logical conclusion that well if you know if you never I'm the asshole I'm, I'm beating around the bush here but you know what I mean like I'm basically trying to say I'm the asshole because well you know I just never you know, I hear stories, especially boomers, talking about how, you know, oh, when I graduated high school or college, I just stopped talking to my friends. It's like, okay, yeah, that's probably the normal experience. But even the times I have done that, it was forced on my end. Like, it wasn't a natural, oh, we just kind of stopped talking. No, I, I basically just ghost the motherfucker because I'm just like, I, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I will go back to my solitude. That's how I've always been. All of you wannabe fags who want me to be gay are... This, it's not funny, okay? That might have been funny 20 years ago, but in this day and age, being like, oh my god, you, you a man was friends with another man? That must mean you're gay. You're a fucking teenage girl, if you think that. You're a fucking pathetic, subhuman teenage girl. Thomas, why are you awake at 4 a.m.? 